Oh, perky, perky. Hey. Right, we're back. We couldn't, um, so the UK, well, no, right, yep. let's introduce ourselves. We're BS, we're actually luxury resellers, but this is a personal haul. If you're interested in luxury videos, however, we do review luxury items um, that are both for sale in our store and for our personal preference self stuffs. Yep. Um, this is a personal haul, as you probably gathered from the title. Um, the UK are currently based in the UK and they're currently in UK lockdown, so no shops that are deemed unessential are open. And I think we're in the second month, full month. But basically, so the lockdown, they locked down November, then they open for a month, then they locked down January, February. And we're still in it. And we're still in it, indefinitely. So we had to do a Bista Village Hall the virtual way so um we are going to do a video which will come after because there's a bit more editing about our experience um and how we got on with the whole ordering yeah via the telephone it's the process um however this is to show you what we got because everyone wants to see that and we might as well upload that first just to show you and um get it over and done with so this one specifically um, a lot of the boutiques in Bista, which we were mentioning in our video, are doing like online catalogs and you can view their catalogs on WhatsApp um, so you can see what they got roughly. Which, yeah, which, we, fa which we found were, were like. They don't have everything on there. I they feel like they have more in store than they do on the, yeah, their, their little. They're sort catalog. of allowing you to ring them, whatever. Yeah. Anyway. I think that's the push, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I was after some things. Uh, from Gucci or Gucci to normal people and um, so this is a Gucci haul from Bista Village we're probably going to shop from the other boutiques um, but G Gucci was the longest wait we had to wait a month for our appointment we wanted yeah we wanted basically bring you a, a, a not the virtual tour once again see the other video but we wanted to let you know that Bist is open for business, mm -hmm. many of the boutiques, and you can do it without basically moving from your sofa. And the prices are so good at the moment, it hurts my soul. Just, just quickly on those prices, Bethany. Just quickly. Um, I, I, Bethany, um, I, th I, think, I think it was quite interesting, actually. We'll mention prices, I think, when we finish. Okay, or, or bit by bit, whatever. Well, we're just going but, on. As we go. But I would actually say the prices right now, I feel because whereas people would see these prices on items and just pick them up in Bista because yeah. these stores are so busy, um, you know, thousands and thousands of people every day. I feel like because you have to wait a month for an appointment, they're just sat there, like literally waiting for you guys or us um, to know, buy them. I know some other people that have got really good deals from other boutiques, like Malono, Malo, 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 Malo Blonic, Blonic uh, 150 for like the crystal, I don't know what they call the crystal satin ones. Another one, which are usually um, around about kind of eight, nine hundred pounds, yeah, depending yeah. On, on, on the finish. Stella's got some really good deals, like 100 pounds for shoes. Um, it just depends what you're looking for at the moment. So just like, uh, call these places, shop around, make appointments, and you, there's no obligation to buy either. So don't feel pressured to buy ever. Um, never, ever, ever. That's a good point, actually, because I, I do think, I do think, even when we it's, walk, it's an awkward situation as well. So you might sometimes feel like, oh, I've got to buy something now because I've wasted this person's time. Yeah, don't think like that because even when you, even when you booked this um, originally. I think we, we were both like, oh, well, what should, we, what, should we, what should we get? Or what should we get? Or should we get? Or should we yeah. not? And I think, don't do it. Just as you, you don't have to be that way to go into a shop if it was open. So be the same. Yes. So we've got six items. Six items. Um, How many of those items belong to you, Bethany? Six items. <laughs> no, um, one, like, two, three, hmm, shared. Four, five. Four. Four, four maybe five. Four. Yeah. They're, I have to say, closest to me I've seen. I feel like you're so far away. Um, I have to say, um, there wasn't a lot of men's. No, this 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 might look very one sided actually, and uh, to but be the quite frank, no, I will just say I don't know if they they it's just they do more for ladies or what it is, but the men's was just kind of right. what I'd call generic. Um, Outlet stock. Made for outlet. Yeah, which which one? Do you, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's, it, there was nothing special that I could I could do really. However, for the ladies, there's ones for you. So let's start. Should we just start here and then we'll go? Yeah, you, you like one. Go, cool, yeah, and I can maybe hold up as you go. So first one. So they came all packaged together. Um, postage was free. Um, Shipping was totally we, free. Yeah. yeah. After we finally confirmed the order, which did take a while for your own video. Um, then it came in like 24 hours. Like so fast. Mm -hmm. um, so it came all together. They gave us, they did give us store bags. And just for reference, they gave us the white and black store bags. Now, if you know outlet, you'll know that some most outlets have different color bags to differentiate what they, what. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, you're right. Let me, let me grab some. Sorry, I'll just grab some just to show what you mean. It makes sort of sense then. So we got given a selection. So um, that is your. That's your, your standard. Outlet, outlet bag, bag yeah. yeah, and obviously, as you just said, this kind of, this kind of bag, which full price bag, yeah, yep. 
um, would be kind of what you'd, what you'd normally get in a full price store. So they gave us a large amount of these, like more than the products that we had bought. Like nine or ten bags, yeah. Not complaining, because I use them for like putting the recycling in. Um, I guess they're not using them up at the moment. So, yeah, so like, why not? You know? So, if, but they were, all came. All the shoes I ordered. I've got three pairs of shoes. It was shoe heavy. All, um, all for And price. they're all in the sort of the new. I call them new style boxes. Yeah, I know, I know they do a lot of seasonal newer, stuff, newer. Um, which you might have seen on our Instagram before. But these are the new style of the Gucci boxes. So the first thing I really wanted, I really want some. Uh, I really wanted some backless muled Prince Towns. Now I've been looking for pre-owned, um, and I find that for used, the pre used. The prices just aren't like great. Like well, they're, they're just still, not cheap, are they? They're still quite expensive because they're an expensive shoe retail. So I rather just uh, not pay full price, but I rather wait until a style came in into outlet that I liked and pay a bit more to get new. Yeah, because I do. I, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm also going to wear them a lot and get my use out of them. Uh, and probably if I ever resell them, which I probably won't, um, it's worth it to me. You're, you're also into more kind of what I would say like. Um, Crazy. Watch my watch my mouth here, but like kooky kind of um, yeah. yeah no different you know different kind of styles as opposed yeah. to like a black a black I'm, a black I'm or not a you know black. no although I'm starting to think I do need a black loafer in my life I'm not I'm not, not after a, this horse you didn't I'm not a black kind of person because I wear black I only wear black so yeah. I like a, so a bag or a shoe is kind of the the, the jazzy yeah. anyway let's get on because I'm with you here okay um, normal size book so these are the GG wallpaper um um. Prince Downs. Real luxury sounding. <laughs> I normally size down in Gucci. How uh, size. However, I feel like Prince Downs are very narrow. Um, yes. And I, I previously worked for Gucci. Um, and I had some black Prince Downs. And I, I sized up because they were tiny. Yeah. So I sized down. So. Um, oh, you're seeing the shoe anyway. But it comes, uh -huh. with, your, it comes with your dust bags and all your, what you would expect. Um, I got the, so it's the wallpaper for it. So it's like the GG um, cubes. <laughs> I think it looks like a really bougie hotel in Brighton in the 70s. I feel like um, the, I've seen Conor McGregor in something yeah, really I, similar. Yeah, they do like a yellow and blue print, which a lot of people have. Um, so they're like a satin, like a silk satin. Um, you don't have to put the shoe up their nose, like that you can get too close. Sorry team. Um, they've got the horse bit detail on the front. Obviously Prince Town's a lot narrower and like longer in style as opposed to the horse bit loafers and the Jordans. Yep. Um, that's got the nude inner with the heart, which I love. I've got a pair of the Mont loafers with um, the same thing. Yep. Um, oh, nice detail. Yeah, so I've got a size 40 in these, which in Gucci is a 7. I'm like a 7, 6. Yeah, it does depend on, literally on the brand, doesn't it, with you? Yeah, but I've got some Gucci's that are like 5 and they fit nice. Cool. So it just, it honestly just depends. Um, you do get two shoes. Oh, not just one? No. Bargain. You do, you do get two shoes. Um, I, to be honest, I didn't realise until they came that they were in like this silk material. I thought they were That's like what a, was canvas that's why i was kind of showing the camera because uh, if you see it kind of from this unless you got you get that sheen yeah um you don't realize they look like maybe like a canvas like you said or, or... so i'd be interested i'm probably gonna spray them with like a water stop spray um i will yeah um to be honest i'm gonna rock these with socks because i'm that kind of person yep um and some jeans or like Definitely. a dress or whatever um but i just think they're like i'm gonna say it i know everyone's gonna go crazy i think they're subtle yeah they are <laughs> but 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 Did, not. No, but like, no, what, what just, yeah, no, I, I don't know what you mean. It's like, you, you say subtle, there were quite a few options which were far from subtle. They had a lot of lace ones, if anyone's interested, for 150. Yeah. Um, but lace isn't really my thing. They were, um, they, were, well, they were quite subtle, actually, the lace ones. Sorry. They had the honey monster ones, you know, the big furry ones. Not just um, for, not just for on the back, but for on the whole shoe. They had those in a few, a few different colours. Yeah, pinks and yellows. They were 200. Um, I just didn't think I would personally get the wear out of them, even though I think they're amazing. I would also say, you, 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 you said you'd like Sorry. a pair of those for ages, and they were so reasonable. However, like we said, the weather, like I know it sounds a bit of a cop-out, but in this country, um, being the UK, like... Even, even even when it's dry, it's freezing most of the time. Yeah, so like that's today why it's dry, it but it's so cold. This, um, with, with a sock. Um, I know that sounds weird, but you yep, get it. Um, if you're interested in seeing the model or styled or whatever, then head over to my personal Instagram, Life by BS, which is located in the description box. Um, I would say do the same for Austin's finds, but. Um, There's not many of them. Uh, so you, you can do next. On this one? Yeah, so these are sunglasses. Now, people think I'm off for buying sunglasses. I buy sunglasses all year round because I love a sunglass. Um, 
Can we just talk about dust bag? Yeah, so usually um, the, the kind of recent Gucci kind of sunglasses and glasses have come in, if you've seen them, they're like a suede. Um, hard case. Well, hard case, yeah, we have There's one somewhere. One right there. Should I grab one? Yeah. Why not? I think it's interesting to correct because I wasn't expecting this either. <laughs> no. Okay, so they usually come like that. Same kind of fabric, different colours they have in these, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And, and you just open cl cl clamshell style. This, when I saw this, this is literally how it came. It's like a It's, it's magnetic to start with, the, the, the ends. That's, and then, that's a front pocket there as well. So it's like two double pockets. So you can put You your, can use it as a clutch. You, you could, of, yeah. I wouldn't. But you, so these sunglasses are from the Hollywood, what's it called? Hollywood Forever Collection. Which was inspired by um, the creative director um, going to a funeral in Hollywood. Uh, for one of the, uh, well, for Mr. M M M I say his name wrong, because I, Ramon, yep. Ramon, um, and he, be they were styled around that, like, in the 1970s, like, rock, rock, um, like, personas and stuff. Um, I've already got the big pink ones with, like, if anyone knows, like, rhinestones around the rooms, and they got, like, thick arms. Um, I've already got those ones, um, which are, like, my Elton John ones, I call them. But these are, like, more, like, bat-like. They're, like... Uh, they're they're pretty they're pretty crazy. They're crazy. They? Um, they're, they're much more subtle to one. I know that sounds like a weird thing to say. Out, um, I would, but the the um, roofing man is currently staring at me through the window, so I'm just gonna wait for him to go hey. and put them on. <laughs> That's what caught my phone. Someone was asking no, earlier so what I was looking at. Um, so anyway, these retailed. I really want to talk about that. By the okay. way, the Prince Towns they were one twenty bargain. Cheap. Yeah, like I'll just I'll just wait. I think we were just kind of like yeah. Yeah. 120. So £120. these retail, for anyone who wants to know, these retail for about well. £900. Um, they're obviously uh, crafted a lot differently to like the regular yeah. wear sunglasses. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. They're, they're like, they're, they're statement um, in every way, shape and form. Um, I will so, say as well, sorry to interrupt you, as I, as I always do, hey fans, um, is like, yeah, I'm done with that. They, I would the, wear the pink ones, ones, for example, which which were really uh, special to you have, are are lovely and they're, they're they just they just they just not made the same way in my opinion. These they're, are nicer. Yeah, they're really heavy and they fall off your face, whereas these really sit. And just before anyone gets in the comments saying that we're crazy people, I would wear these to the supermarket and I don't give a beep. Yeah. I honestly don't. I'd wear them. I'd wear them to the grocery shop. Is this a man? Is this the face of a man who? All the time, this this is it. It's good though. Right, anyway, so um, Retros, that's what we I'm pay saying. sixty. Sixty. And these were originally like what eight, nine hundred, yeah? Nine hundred. So you're talking about like seven seven, eight percent of the original cost? It's that's what you like, paid? That's, that's insane though. A lot of this stuff as well, I talked to your essay, a lot of this stuff came from the warehouse and didn't come from the shop floor. So the interesting thing about that is is most of the like I want to say crazy because most people look for black Prince Towns when they go to Gucci, right? Correct, yeah? Or monogram bags. Yeah. Now, if, if you're interested in, in kind of, not necessarily cooler, but in my opinion, quirkier stuff or, or stuff which is a bit different. Fun stuff. You'll find that they have lots, which they don't put on the shop floor, specifically at the moment because no one's shopping. And if you ask, uh, could you check the warehouse? They're able to, which we'll go into in the, in the other video. Yeah. They're able to check the whole stock of every warehouse, not just it the be, warehouse it might behind be like the store. Last in size the as local well. warehouse, yes. You know, so they might just have a size two or something. Well, something I'm going to show in a minute is exactly that. Well, you do yours now because okay. the rest of you will break it up. Okay, so. Don't rattle too much. Or sorry, thing. team. Now, wait for it. They can probably do this. So, this is the kind of the Gucci, um, like, what do you call it? Distressed print. T shirt. Yes, you know that everyone was wearing. That everyone had in black. white, yeah, exactly. So this one was pink uh, leopard, which once again is not necessarily hundred percent my thing, being truthful. But I thought Oh what a great buy. No 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 <laughs> be with me. But I thought, you know, I don't own one of these t shirts. I actually think so they look nice under something like this. So I was gonna say it's more of a, a, a kind of a layered piece if you want. Yeah. I mean it's like I, I really like it, I think it's, it's cool, it's different. But one of the main reasons that I actually got it was retail. I don't even, I'm trying to look for the retail. I don't think it has retail the on retail here. Retail about 400 on that, isn't they? I think they're a little bit more than that, actually, yeah. No, they, I think that, yeah. I'll, I'll try and put retail in the description box on this video because it's interesting. Yeah, um, the difference is. But this was the last one in, it's a size. Large. Um, it's a size large, but they're oversized. Yeah. All, the, all these, the hoodies and the t-shirts are always oversized. This on a woman would fit really nice. Like if you're a size 12. Like almost like a like dress. A really nice oversized thing. Or a smaller and you could want to wear oversized. Yeah. I could put it on tucked into something. Um, what she means is she will do. Yeah. Um, so Ooh. that one was 
60, I want to say. 60 pounds. 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Bear, 60. bear in mind, Gucci, from Gucci, 60 pounds. Like, look, go and look on like, eBay now. You're not getting it for 60 quid. You're not getting it. The next carry. one, this one for me is, is, is this something This is the last Kofi's. To be honest, I bought this from... We got it for me. Because I, well, I with got hopes a, it would yeah. be for you. Look at that. We have a ruffling. God. You have a rustle, don't you? Did somebody put some tissue? Sorry, guys. It's like, what, don't work with kids or animals. Or Austin. Um, so it's like a spell out. Like, it reminds me of the early 2000s, late 90s. Like, you know, like the, the shirts with dragons on that everyone wore to school discos. It reminds me of that. But I think, I, it says like Gucci all over it and Gucci fine and stuff. I think if you styled it, it's really rock and roll. Like, if you styled it correctly, roll, roll the cuffs. I'd wear it like over a leather pair of trousers yep, or for sure. like a jumpsuit or something. I think it could look really cool like as an overshirt as opposed to a shirt. And I know these pieces are a bit wild, but we're not like, we're not cookie cutter. No, no, um, no. So if they're not for you, they, Gucci does have normal things as well, like Black Prince Towns and like uh, your classic, your classic <laughs> knits and stuff. But they've got all... scarves and things, but they've also got some wacky I was going to say, I would also say most of them are like more like as you just said kind of different kind of non not so yeah. classic pieces other cl pieces they're known for like yeah, you might yeah. you, you might not have ever seen this shirt granted right but this for example I, I just looked on the thing which is kind of i guess it proves what we're saying so that if you can if you can see that there the label it was a full, uh, full price 490 pounds yeah down to 60. So we pay we pay sixty. So again. what I'm saying is the actual shit as well. You can't it's, get it's a nice Zara for sixty quid nowadays. Like, I'm just saying. If if you're, they also had like most of these things. Not everything, but most of these things, specifically the clothing. They had a lot of clothing as well, didn't they? Mm. Um, was um, they had multiple sizes, so it wasn't just like it's the last very last one. And it was one. good seasons as well. It wasn't just old stuff. I know yeah. a lot of places just, like mm, this was like 2018, 2019. Like that, yeah, that, yeah, like, that's like 19, yeah. Right, two right last uh, two last boxes. Needs. Do these first. Okay. Um, Let me show the box for the sheer yeah, size. Yeah, so these are two pairs of boots because I wanted boots. I wanted like boots, boots. Like, wearable boots. Um, you can get out and I'll just chat. Don't be too noisy though. Um, I'll make a quick team. Um, so I wanted some normal boots, and they didn't have these in store. She suggested these. The SA just suggested these from the warehouse um, for me. Um, they only had. That's me a, saying hello to the window. <laughs> they only. They. She advised me to size up. So please do talk to your SAs and ask what their advice on things because I would have just bought these in my normal size. I actually thought that was really cool. She said that because you would have bought a normal size and been way off. Yeah, yeah. I she said, she, I bought a pair myself. Please, X, Y, and yeah. Z. And she was very helpful. So, um, these are it? called the Charlotte Boots. Um, See how she took that from me? Yeah, I know. Because she's faffing around. I'm trying to show you the beautiful boot that is. These are called the Charlotte Boots. They're like a Gucci biker. Boom. Uh, quilted. And they're like, um, they're like the Marmonts. Like, they're quilted in the style of a Marmont bag. Um, with a GG on. Um, they're obviously just, a, they're not plain boot, they got a giant GG on, but I just really wanted like a subtle boot, I wear like Blunstones and like, like, yeah. like, like typical like hiking boots, I know it sounds really weird, but I like that whole vibe. I think at the moment black, black boots or like oversized boots yeah. are kind of, chunky boots are really in, obviously, everywhere, thanks to Prada and people like uh, Baguette, but yeah. what I would say is these are like, well first I love the, I love the pulls, yeah. but also the detail. The one thing I would say about these, I don't know about you. The other one has a heart on it and I don't like it. Well, that's a spoiler. It's if not, ever I've seen one. It's not I don't like it. It's just like, it's not my style, but I think I would prefer the Gigi on both boots. That's a minute. So basically, I guess the reason for it, on a mom, a mom, a mom, mom bag, yeah. that is the front yeah, that's and the that back. is the back. So they've done it for that reason. So So I'm basically going to walk past you if you ever see me in the street with my foot this way. Like, so we're going to kind of walk like this. <laughs> look, it's Gigi. Look, it's Gigi. But, um, yeah, so um, if you do get the chance to purchase these or you're looking at the secondhand market, they do do tall ones and they do do heeled ones of the exact same boot, but heeled and tall. It's two separate. So they do three size styles. They also do a really crop one as well. I'm going to blow your mind now, guys. Wait for this, okay? I don't know how many pairs which were left. I don't. I think there was two pairs. Just have a quick guess. It'll go silent. Have a guess how much these were. Retail, what were these? I don't know what retail are, but I found the pair of the long ones and they're going for, they're going for $1,300. 
So I assume the retail was about a G on them, I assume. I would, uh, to be honest, just the quality of the leather and the actual finish of the shoe, yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm, I'm guessing they're on that. Um, so we paid £91. £91. Brand new from Gucci. <laughs> I might be on the thumbnail. We paid £91 for Gucci boots. £1,000. Do you know, like, that's kind of... Even, even for us, like, if someone's paid full price, there's no way we could charge £91. So these are deals to be had. Mm. They don't happen all the time. And to be fair, there were a lot, I would say, there were a lot of things you, you were going to pick, and they which they didn't out. have the size. Yeah. Maybe. So it's not kind of, it, you have kind of have to weigh it up in that respect. Um, so those were for like every day for me, every day. And then the second pair, why Austin puts those away. And the last thing we got from Gucci this time. This time, um, that concerns me. Uh, Another one. This one's quite heavy actually though. Um, another pair of boots. They are kind of boots, but they're not boots I don't as well. know what these are called. I, I just make, like, these are a 41. What? Are, yeah, okay. These are uh, these are actually a big bigger size. These are an 8. No, that's that, that's that's the boot. This wasn't that boot. It was that boot she did, um, the SA told you to go larger oh. on. Oh, is it this one? Yes, because the, in, the inside. Okay, this I is cool. Give it away I believe it's lined. called a queen. Because it says queen. <laughs> um, but we'll find out. I thought they were called tracks. Do you know what? Honestly, the, the longer we do this, the more information and pointless like um, branding you have on the boxes now. Yeah. Which I doesn't see. give you information of the boots. Um, they come in that. Look at these. Dun, I, I would have had these if they had my size. Dun, 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 dun. Dream. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you're so beautiful. I just want to marry you. Um, so why I look at these and lovingly in, effect, in a, an affectionate manner. These are like, they did trainers of these, which I believe are called the Trek. Yeah. I probably made that up. So I thought these would just be called like Big Trek. With the jewels, yeah? With the jewels. Now, I really like the ones with the jewels. I really do. And they do have them, but they only have small sizes. But like three? Like three was the biggest size they had. Yeah. And they were pink as well, but they only had small sizes. And to be honest, I had to restrain myself because I, I want boots to like... You wear boots a lot. To boot in. Um, so these are in the tan, they got the gum sole, like tan sole, they got the Supreme Monogram, um, GG print logo in all over them, uh, suede upper, mesh leather back. Shielding line? They've got a shielding line, they've got like that Sega, um, Gucci spell out in rubber across the top. Um, and I'm telling you now, these are so heavy. These, my arm shaking on them, these I would um, I would say quality wise, like the actual quality of them. Uh, like, uh, is, is I would say on par with triple S's in terms I'd agree. of weight. I'd agree. Uh, Balenciaga triple S's. I haven't tried any of these on. They came this morning. Um, so I'll let you know on sizing. Because if they don't fit, they're going for sale. <laughs> I just lose some, lose some foot weight. <laughs> no, if anything doesn't fit, we'll go for sale. Um, it, oh, it's just... Oh. I just love them so. I think they would look nice on the man though. If you can get your size and you, I, are, I you have a small foot, definitely try I, and go I would wear those all day long. These were 260. And what was retail? Uh, about a G. Like 260 is still it's quite a lot for a pair of boots. They're quite a, like, mm -hmm. a relatively like current pair as well. I was just going to say. The Treks are not that, you know. They. I would also say that with the materials, like from like the really smooth leather, like you said, the monogram in, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the shielding, the, the, rubber, the rubber tongue, the laces, everything about them. And I know it sounds really kind of like, oh, it screams quality. Even like the, the branding and I stuff there. It. It's so beautiful. As a boot, even the shielding, I think, I don't think you're going to get much better for the money. You can, like, I was looking at some Russell and Bromley ones, and you're looking at the same money for a new Russell and Bromley. Like, just shop around. Like, you don't have to pay a G, but like, no, 200 agreed. quid for a boot that you're going to wear through season, season, season. It's not even that garish. I mean, I am a garish human, but that's not that garish. That's very subtle. Well, to be fair, when you, from afar, that's predominantly a brown, a brown boot. Yeah. With. Yeah, and then I put it on with my sunglasses, and we're ready to go. And, and there you go. But yeah, once again, that was the most expensive by far item, yeah. and that was kind of, to be honest, that was kind of a. Um, you'd wanted this style of shoe boot for I wanted, a long time. I went with the, for the trainers. I wanted some prints down, and I wanted some boots. Um, so I'm happy with everything we wore. Uh, in terms of service and stuff, I can't fault the service. We have done a video on it because there were a few hiccups. Um, it was just a very slow process. Um, however, it is worth it because the prices of things are ridiculous. I, w I would also say, yeah, just 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 to kind of dive in on that. Um, we will, as I said, we were making, a, making another video about the whole process. But the person who helped us was, was very, very helpful, um, for sure. Yeah. And I would actually go as far as to say, um, considering it was such a, um, 
a kind of a process of a few days, different different bits and pieces, and different kind of communications. I would a few actually, days. I went, yeah, it was. It took probably from start to finish. It would it took kind of it was maybe six days. Six days, but as soon as we paid, they send you a link for yeah, payment to quick. clarify. We, I mean, I paid. Not last night, the night before. Yeah. So if you have any questions, then drop them down in the comments. We've done previous Vista Village videos and they seem to be very popular. So if you have any questions, just ask us. Don't judge our taste in clothing. We know we rock. No, it's, it's personal um, as well. So, um, but if you have any questions, like you want to know, I, like roughly know um, what Prince Towns they had in. Um, they said there's a lot of stock, yeah, what we do have. Got, so we do know a lot of what they have. pictures as well and stuff of um, things in. So if you have any queries or questions, if you want to see um, them being worn or you're thinking about buying them and you want to see them on a human, a real life one, uh, then you can visit our Instagram. If you like the video, then we do videos on luxury fashion. This is one of our many hauls, but we also have a luxury pre-owned shop where we uh, do reviews on things that we get in for sale. Are we gonna review all these separately? I'm going to review them all separately yeah, for awesome. you. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, because that's just a nice thing to do. Probably not the clothes, I no. mean. Boring. No, uh, yeah. no, it's not boring, but there's only so much it's you can say hard, about cotton shirts. Especially from a personal standpoint. But like the, the, the boots, um, yeah, I think that's good. we'll do a little closer look at them, the materials and stuff. Even the cost, where you, whether you would or wouldn't pay after owning them pay full price, if yeah. they were full price, etc. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the sunglasses, I think that's an interesting one. I might crack out my... Um, the other ones, one. to, in person, yeah. Yes. Um. So, but if you're interested in the process of how to buy from Fia, uh, uh, lockdown virtual shopping at Bristol Village and view our other video which will go up a bit later because um, I've got to edit it. In that video as well, just to clarify, we're not only going to cover the ins and outs of how that worked but also we'll, we'll have a little snippet of how, how we kind of um, whether it was the, the video chat or yeah. the kind of uh, WhatsApp message or whatever it was we were doing. So mm -hmm. we'll cover the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, that's us. If you're interested, if you liked us, then subscribe. If you liked this video, then like. If you didn't like it, then please just go. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's go. Bye.